Yo, what's up? Welcome to a new Ari video. In this video, I'm gonna be farming the zone for five days, and I'm gonna be showing the results every day, the progress, and then I'm gonna be bartering it all and making a base with that. Not really making it. I'm just gonna be upgrading my base, but yeah. Make sure to join my Discord because I'm giving away this cool little video, and let's get straight into the video. So this is day one, and I've already gathered one for industrial of gunpowder over here, one for industrial of explosive compound over here, and then. Right over here in this one by one, I have another full in, um, half industry of gunpowder. It was full, but I converted some of the gunpowder into explosive compound. So it's almost one full explosive compound in a steel crate and then pick up crystals. So today is day two, and first off, I got an air drop which I got too far water from. So that's two secure boxes extra. Um, the progress is like kinda good today I guess, uh, this is one industrial, there is a bit of gunpowder over here, there is another industrial over here, of gunpowder, another industrial of gunpowder over here and another one over here, one industrial, two industrials, few cobalt crystals, and a bit more explosive here and then another industrial. We also were getting graded, um, my friend defended 1v5 and then we got a cobalt C4, so kind of good progress so far. Okay, so this is day 3, I'm gonna start with the gunpowder. This is almost full industrial gunpowder. There is a full industrial gunpowder here, this one is full empty. There is 3 more over here for gunpowder, as you can see. And then there is 3 more over here, so almost 8 full industrial gunpowder. So for the exploded compound. There is one industrial, two industrial of explosive, um, one locker of cobalt crystals, another one that's like four C4s four in total, also RPG warhead which I found in the bunker red zone. And then another four industrial explosive, another one, this one is kinda full, like it's half full. And then another one over here, this one is empty, that's it for day 3. So today is day 4 and this is the progress so far. And this is 3 industrial smoking powder, uh, there is 3 more in here, as you can see, and another 3 here. Then over here we have um, no cobalt, and then we have these cobalt. Uh, we use them all, you're gonna see like one of the videos. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven industries of explosive compound for now. So that's all for the progress. Um, so it is day five, and it's gonna be actually the last day because. Uh, okay, as you can see, there is one industrial here, that one is empty and that one is with a bit. In total, that's 1k explosive compound. But yeah, it's gonna be the last day. I was planning to do 7 days of dead zone instead of 5. But the reason I'm going with uh, 5 is because we were getting graded and I do not want to lose like, that explosive compound that I have right now in the gunpowder as well. Uh, so in total I'm gonna be bartering 900 explosive compound and 1.5k gunpowder which is uh, gonna be pretty much everything that I need to almost finish my base uh, as you can see most of my sentries are actually gone because FM raided me I mean they tried to so but don't worry, I got uh, I got them covered. I crafted new ones already, I'm gonna be placing them as well. As you can see, uh, 11 brands, uh, 27 22 makeshift sentries, and 2 tikis, 2 cargs. Now, in order to smelt that explosive compound, I've gathered 250 stacks of charcoal, which is gonna be enough to smelt all the mantium that I get from the explosive. And the gunpowder, I do not need to smelt. So yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next clip when I have basically done almost everything. And I feel like something's bad, but hell I'm used to that. I always turn my back, yeah. And I wanna feel something, but all I feel is pain. I wanna make a change, but. 
yourself up or you let yourself down life will always be tough so who the fuck are you now will you make it alone or do you need someone else i don't need anyone i'll do it all by myself all right so it came out to be 125 stacks of adamantium which is quite a ton considering this is full when you are as you can see now i'm gonna start battling the gunpowder which is gonna take me probably less time considering i didn't i don't need like any charcoal at all so i'm gonna be back when i've battled the metal as well put up my guard i don't wanna get torn apart i start to feel my heart race faster it's pumping Hard. And all I want is to be something That's why I just keep on running Can't stop what you don't see coming Yeah, and you know I'm coming How can I trust you If you don't trust me I do what I do Cause it is just me. Place down absolutely everything and I calculated and it comes out um, as 525 stacks of metal plates and 125 stacks of adamantium ingots. Now I'm gonna move them all somewhere in my base and I'm gonna start using them. So I'm starting to build the sentry boxes I built two so far, uh, that's how they look. Uh, I'm gonna keep building and see what's gonna happen and what I'm gonna come up with. Alright, so I made every little sentry box for the Mantium and above the brands I also put locker, maybe it helps with something, like if they try to splash it from behind or above, maybe. I just have a lot of resources to waste so you shouldn't do it though, to be honest. I just had uh, a lot extra resources as you know. But yeah, that's the last one and that's how it looks so far. It's getting better and better. I'm gonna keep on playing and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do next. Probably helipad. Not sure though. Okay, fourth number drop number I don't even know anymore. Please, please, please. Oh my god. No far water, bro. So I've been building off camera for a bit because it's actually the next day. Uh, I got pretty tired yesterday, so I went to sleep. Um, this is what I came up with. Now these are non-splashable. There is my new cloth farm. I mean the resin farm. Uh, those are gonna be most likely sentries. Not sure yet. Uh, these are like four industrials per each one. Uh, as you can see, there are eight. This looks sick under. Now, I did a lot of progress underwater. I made so much more sentry boxes. First off, uh, second off, I made this. Now it's splashable. I mean, it's splashable, but it's like double layer. So, it that separates the two parts so I can put more sentries over here. Uh, I made this, which is like extra metal wall. I'm probably gonna make even more. Uh, around here, I made even more sentries uh, behind these, like right there, as you can see. Uh, I moved some of these clay fox. Actually, I forgot to do this one, but I moved them in these sentry boxes over here. 
because it's way better. Uh, uh, these sentries can actually shoot at something. So overall, the base progress is like pretty pretty good so far. But yeah. I'm gonna get that fixed a bit later. Uh, I still have to move all that loot into these one by ones, and I also have to get done with the helipad. I made a temporary one here. We have one more heli over there. Now that's a tower, which is built by my friend. Actually, I'm gonna make another one over there, and I'm gonna upgrade that one. We cannot build here and there because sky. I mean, high limit, sky limit, whatever you call it the same thing. So yeah, quite sad that like Renax didn't have to make that, but I guess I understand why, so pretty understandable. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot more and then I'm gonna be back in a second. Okay, so I'm done with the heli garages. They're both fully adamantium, they're fun uh, fully functional. I'm probably gonna put industrial crates in them. I'm also gonna close this part of don't worry. And that's about it basically, the heli garages is done, I'm gonna make uh, something else right now, I'm gonna be back. Well, okay, uh, I did uh, the bomb jack room, it looks like this, it's actually pretty cool. There are my gas canisters here, and it's full of amontium 3x3, with like half holes on top. Nothing special, just casual 3x3. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get to work again on something else. Not sure, I'm gonna decide right now and be back probably with like time lapse or something. Okay, so I have a plan about the helipad. Uh, I'm gonna build a garage above it right now. And I'm gonna also put a hose and ladders up here. So we have a way to go up and down safely. Like this. I actually have some ideas here. Okay, um, right there. For now, this is the plan. So it's gonna be 9 garages on this side and 9 garages on this side. So 18 in total. One there and one there are like gonna be fully adamantium. Let's say we come from a raid with Jeep or whatever car and it's full of loot. High tier loot, whatever loot. We just put it in the adamantium one. And later we just take out the loot. I'm gonna make also a way to go in the base quickly and out, but probably that's gonna be the way. Not sure yet. And there is also gonna be like bridge here and on the other side. That's my current plan, so let's get into the time lapse. I've got a real suit for that, so. Okay then, so all the garages are done. Even though the mountain ones, uh, the helipad is under as I said. And I'm gonna make ways out from there and there, probably later. Don't think I'm gonna uh, ever be able to use all of, all of them, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why I built it, just for fun I guess, you know, cool little base showcase. Okay, so I actually upgraded this tower a bit more, now it was pretty good so I just made it fully metal, but I made my own one because that's my friend's tower. I made this one, it's pretty good, I'm gonna maybe make it a bit of like adamantium. I'm gonna put a claim pack over here and also in that tower as well because it's not claimed. Now, sadly because of the base limit, I cannot build here actually, so I cannot close this off, so I'm gonna keep it open, place a few sentries, 
and I'm gonna see what else I'm gonna do but yeah that's it for now so I think this is the end of the video to be honest I built almost everything that I wanted there is still a few things that I'm gonna build but I don't have like armor plates for example which is like what I'm gonna do off camera and I also need sentries so yeah hope that you enjoyed this took me a lot of time to make and just looking at all this like it's like pretty cool you know